Hi there guys and welcome to another video. So in today's video we're going to be looking at exporting our photos from Google Photos using Google Takeout. And then we're going to be importing them into Image using an excellent tool called Image Go. And with Image Go we can run it on any machine. We can run it locally on our laptop and export the photos directly from there. We can run it on our Unraid server. Basically, we can run it on Mac, Windows, Linux or FreeBSD. This tool is really flexible. We don't only have to use it for importing photos from Google Photos. And in my last video, I did mention that the CLI wasn't working in the container, but I'm really happy to say that that's all been taken care of now. And so you can use either. But I really suggest you looking at this, especially if you want to import your photos using Google Takeout. Right, so let's just jump right in. So obviously, the first thing we need to do is to get our photos from Google in the first place. So, do a search on Google for Google Takeout. Click onto where it says Sign in Google Accounts, and if you're not logged in, then log in, and it will take you to this page here. Now you can see here, basically, there's a whole bunch of things that we can select. At the moment it says there's 55 out of 56 things selected. So I'm just going to deselect everything. Then from here, I'm going to scroll down looking for Google Photos. Then once I find it, I'm going to select that, check it. And now at the top, we can see one of 56 things selected. So with that done now, I'm going to go right down to the bottom and click on Next Step. So on this screen, we've got the option of where to transfer the data to. By default, it's set to send download link via email. That's absolutely fine and the best one to use, in my opinion. Then underneath that, the frequency. Well, I'm only going to export this once and then delete all the files. So once is fine for me. Then for file type and size, we want to have a zip file here. And then under file size, if we scroll down to the bottom, and choose 50 gigs. Basically, what this does is it allows us to have a zip file up to 50 gigs. Anything over that will just be chunked up into zip files of a maximum size of 50. And also, don't worry if you choose 50 and you've only got a few gigs, that's absolutely fine. 50 is the maximum size per file. So with that done, just click Create Export. Then next, as it says, we may have to wait a few hours. We'll get an email sent through when everything's done with a link to download the files from. OK, so a few hours later, I got the email from Google saying my data is ready to download. So I'm going to click on this and download my files. And we can see here that I've got one file of 3.3 gigs, not very big. And I'm sure some of you guys there will have absolutely huge files that you'll be downloading. OK, so that's done. OK, so we can see here the file I've just downloaded. Now, I don't actually need to unzip this, but just to make my life easier in a moment, I am going to rename it. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this, but we're going to be using a command line tool and it's just easier. So I'm just renaming it to takeout.zip. OK, so we need to download something else. And for that, we're going to have to go across to GitHub. So we just want to do a search for image hyphen go and go to the GitHub page here. Now, basically, this is an alternative to the image CLI, and it basically allows us to upload really any sort of photos at all. It's especially good for Google Takeout because we don't actually have to even unzip the file at all, and it keeps all of the metadata and another good thing here is Image Go. It doesn't require Node.js, so it will just run independently on its own and much easier to actually run. Also, we can run it on Mac, Windows or Linux. So very, very flexible. OK, so we need to download the binary. So let's scroll down, 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 down. Under installation, we can see we've got Mac which is Darwin, um, ARM and x86 versions, Linux, ARM and x86, Windows again, ARM and x86, and FreeBSD. So, runs on pretty much anything. So I'm going to go here to the latest release page, and I'm going to look for the Windows version first, 
And so here, here's the Windows x86 package. I'm going to download that. Now this time I am going to unzip this file. I'm going to extract them here. And I'm going to delete the zip file just to keep everything nice and clean. So two files there, the binary and a readme here. Okay, so the next thing we need to get is an API key for the user in which we want to import the photos to in image. So when logged into that user, we want to go to its icon, account settings, API keys, and make a new API key. Doesn't really matter what we call it, and we just need to copy that as we're gonna need that in a moment. So back in the Windows File Explorer, we now need to open a command prompt in the folder in which we've got image go and our zip file. Now the easiest way to do that is at the top here in this bar, just to delete what's there and then just type CMD. And that will just open a command prompt right into where we need to be. And so now here in the command prompt, we want to type image hyphen go.exe space, then hyphen server, space then we need to put in here the address of our image server now i'm putting in the local address here but if you've got this reverse proxied there's no reason why you couldn't actually do it remotely over the reverse proxy now as it's local i'm going to have to put the port number so for me that's 8080 so here is my server ip obviously yours will be different so after that we need to put a space then hyphen key and then a space, and then we need to paste in the API key we just copied. Then after that, we put a space, then upload, because we want to upload some photos. Then I'm going to put a space, and then hyphen Google hyphen photos. So what this will do is put everything how Google Photos had it in Google Photos. So after that, we put a space, and then the name of the zip file which we can see, hang on, let's make this a bit wider, is takeout.zip. Now I didn't really actually need to rename it because using tab actually auto-completes. But anyway, I did, so it is what it is. Right, so with that done, I'm going to hit enter. And now we can see all of the photos from in that zip file are uploading to my image server. Now, like I said earlier, this is really useful because you don't need to do it on the computer that the server's on. You know, I could be doing this a thousand miles away from where my server is because my image is reverse proxied. Right, let's speed this bit up a bit here so you don't have to watch. Okay, so when everything's finished, we get a report at the bottom saying how many files there were in the input. And you can see here, I've uploaded 1500 photos, 65 videos, and a bunch of other metadata files. And so back over an image now, if I scroll down through my photos, we can see here there's a whole load of new photos all being added in correctly. OK, so now let's do the same using Image Go, but this time directly on the Unraid server in Linux. Now in this folder here, I've got a bunch of pictures that I'm going to upload using Image Go directly into my image server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back onto the PC quickly and you'll notice here as well, I've got another Google takeout file here. This one much smaller from another Google account. I'm also going to upload that from the Unraid server. So what we need to do obviously is download the Linux binary. So back on the GitHub page, this time I'm going to download the x86-64 Linux version here. So again, I'm going to extract these files and here we can see the image go file for Linux. So I'm going to go back now to the Unraid server and on the shares tab here, I think I'm going to jump into any share. doesn't really matter. I'm going to go into ISO share here and I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to upload both the Google takeout file and the image go file here and put them in the ISO share. OK, so now let's open a terminal window and I'm going to change directory into the ISO share. So that's CD forward slash MNT forward slash user forward slash ISOs. And the image go file, I need to make that executable. So I'm going to type chmod space plus X space and dot forward slash image go. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the Google takeout file here. So to do that, I'm going to click dot forward slash image go. And then basically it's exactly the same as we did before. We have hyphen server, the server address and port, the API key, upload, and then the tag for the Google photos and a space. And I'm going to press the T and autocomplete by pressing tab. And I'm going to hit enter. So there we are, it's uploading those straight into the server. Like I said, it was a very small amount of files, only 48 there. So let's clear the screen. Now the pictures I want are in this share here, which is this location here. So to do that, we use pretty much exactly the same command. But this time, after the upload, I'm not going to use the Google flag. I'm just going to put forward slash MNT user pics and hit enter. OK, so there we are, everything uploaded. So let's jump back across and see that they're all there. Oh, and it looks like there's another new release. They're coming thick and fast. But yep, all of the pictures are there that I've uploaded. So that all work well. And as well, if I go on to albums here, these albums, they weren't here before. They're basically straight from my Google Photos. So the albums have been imported just as they are in Google Photos. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. So now you've learned how to take your photos away from that dirty place Google Photos through their takeout using the Great Image Go. But anyway guys, if you found this video useful and you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, give it a like, help the algorithm let other people find my videos too. And if you're not a subscriber, well hey, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, I want to give a huge thank you to all of my patrons and supporters out there. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it. And it's Easter this weekend, so happy Easter to everyone. Don't eat too much chocolate, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. And I'll catch you in the next video.